a man went into a tattoo parlor and asked to have a $50 bill tattooed on his The tattoo artist said, I've had some strange requests, but this one tops the lot. Why in the hell? Would you want me to tattoo your prick with a picture of a banknote? The man replied, there are three reasons. One, I love to play with my money. Two, when I play with my money, I love to see it grow. Three, and this is the most important of all, the next time my wife wants to blow 50 bucks, she won't have to leave the house. <laughs> man went into a tattoo parlor and asked to have a $50 bill tattooed on his The tattoo artist said, I've had some strange requests, but this one tops the lot. Why in the hell? Would you want me to tattoo your prick with a picture of a banknote? The man replied, there are three reasons. One, I love to play with my money. Two, when I play with my money, I love to see it grow. Three, and this is the most important of all, the next time my wife wants to blow 50 bucks, she won't have to leave the house. <laughs> the woman was having a daytime affair while her husband was at work. One wet and nasty day she was in bed with her boyfriend when to her horror she heard her husband's car pull into the driveway. Oh my god, hurry, grab your clothes and jump out of the window. My husband's home early. I can't jump out of the window, it's raining out there. If my husband catches us in here, he'll kill us both. She replied, he's got a hot temper and a gun, so the rain is the least of your problems. So the boyfriend scoots out of bed, grabs his clothes and jump out of the window. As he ran down the street in the pouring rain, he quickly discovered he had run right into the middle of the town's annual marathon. So he started running. <laughs> a woman was in a coma. Nurses were in her room giving her a sponge bath when one of them noticed that there was a response on the monitor whenever her crotch was touched. They went to her husband and explained what happened, telling him, crazy as this sounds, but maybe a little oral stuff will do the trick and bring her out of the coma. The husband was a skeptical, but they assured him they'd close the curtains for privacy. The hobby finally agreed and went in his wife's room. After a few minutes, the woman's monitor flatlined. No pulse, no heart rate, nothing. The nurses ran into the room. The husband, who was standing beside his wife's bed, pulling up his pants, said, uh, um, I, I think she choked. <laughs> At a local college dance, a guy from America asks a girl from Sweden to dance. While they are dancing, he gives her a little squeeze and says, In America, we call this a hug. She replies, Yeah, in Sweden, we call it a hug too. A little later, he gives her a peck on the cheek and says, In America, we call this a kiss. She replies, Yeah, in Sweden, we call it a kiss too. Towards the end of the night and a lot of drinks later, he takes her out on the campus lawn and proceeds to have sex with her, saying, in America we call this a grass sandwich. She says, yeah, in Sweden we call it a glass sandwich too, but we usually put more meat in it. <laughs> Two parents take their son on a vacation and go to a beach. The father goes for a walk on the beach and the son goes and plays in the water. The son comes running up to his mom and says, Mommy, I saw ladies with boobs a lot bigger than yours. The mom says, the bigger they are, the dumber they are. So he goes back to play. Minutes later, he runs back and says, Mommy, I saw men with a lot bigger than daddy's. The mom says, the bigger they are, the dumber they are. So he goes back to play. Several minutes later, he comes running back and says, Mommy, I just saw daddy talking to the dumbest lady I've ever seen. And the more he talked, the dumber he got. <laughs> when Ralph first noticed his p*** was growing longer and stayed erect longer, he was delighted. 
as was his wife. After several weeks, his penis had grown to 20 inches. Ralph became quite concerned as he was having problems dressing and even walking. So he and his wife went to see a prominent urologist. After an initial examination, the doctor explained to the couple that, though rare, Ralph's condition could be fixed through corrective surgery. How long will Ralph be uncrotches? The wife asked anxiously. Crutches? Why would he need crutches? Responded the doctor. Well, said Ralph's wife coldly, you are going to lengthen his legs, aren't you? <laughs> the priest was getting ready to hear confessions one day when he got a terrible attack of diarrhea. So he asked the altar boy to take over for him. But I don't know how to hear confessions, said the altar boy. It's easy, said the priest. You've seen me do it many times, nobody will know the difference. So the altar boy was in the confession booth when a man came in and sat down on the other side. Father, I don't know what to do, the man said. Last night my wife and I were in bed, she was sleeping and I rolled her over and did her in the end. I feel bad about it, but I don't know how to make it up to her. That's easy, said the altar boy. Just give her milk and cookies like the priest gives me. 75-year-old <laughs> man went to his doctor's office to get a sperm count. The doctor gave the man a jar and said, Take this jar home and bring me back a sample tomorrow. The next day, the 75-year-old man reappeared at the doctor's office and gave him the jar which was as clean and empty as on the previous day. The doctor asked what had happened and the man explained, Well, doc, it's like this. First, I tried with my right hand, but nothing happened. Then I tried with my left hand, but still got nothing. Then I asked my wife for help. She tried with her right hand, but nothing happened. Then she tried with her left, but still nothing happened. She even tried with her mouth, first with the teeth in, then with the teeth out, and still nothing happened. We even called up the lady next door and she tried with both hands, and her mouth too, but there was nothing doing. The doctor was shocked. You asked your neighbor? The old man replied, yeah, but no matter what we tried, we couldn't get the stupid jar open. <laughs> 